Light-absorbing super-black materials have intrigued scientists, artists, and the general public. But existing super-black materials have many limitations. Some of the super-black materials are even notoriously toxic and highly sensitive to touch. There has been many efforts to create materials with ultra-low light reflectance and uh, materials as we call super-black. And in our research, we do that using wood. The requirements for super-black materials are extreme. Light's a powerful and sustainable resource, but it can also be detrimental to the performance and longevity of optical systems. So if we are able to minimize uncontrolled light reflectance to super low levels, we can create new technologies, but we can also improve many devices that are already existing, from solar panels to telescopes in space exploration, for example. A team of scientists at FinSeris, Alta University, and VTT has developed a bio-based alternative that promises to be both non-toxic and able to absorb an astounding 99.65% of light, in effect breaking the world record for the blackest solid wood material ever reported. In our research, we convert the natural carbon structure of wood, which is mostly in a carbohydrate configuration, into a graphitic material. In order to do that, we treat our samples at very high temperature in a controlled environment. The resulting material is rather black, but to achieve super black levels, we need to combine light absorbing chemical structures with light entrapping nanostructures. Here, what is crucial is to tailor the chemistry, which goes along with the microstructure of the wood, which is designed by nature. So at least here, we don't have to design the structure. It's already there. We just have to tailor it in terms of dimensions. And what's more, the natural imperfections of cellulose fibers enhance the light absorption significantly. You know, many uh, super black materials nowadays, they are perfect cylinders. So they are very aligned and they are short. The natural imperfections of wood are actually beneficial to our case because they help to entrap light better when compared to perfectly aligned tubes. A deep zoom into the nanostructure of this new material reveals a raggedy picture, which further explains its light-absorbing property. What we found is very fascinating. When we improve the carbonation temperature, we see a new structure directly generated from the wood cell wall getting much sharper, means their dimension uh, getting lower from the micron range to sub-micron range. So this means the light scattering, like mist scattering, Raleigh scattering, getting suppressed in a way the overall uh, light reflectance getting much lower. On a micro scale, the light absorption can be compared with the light penetration in a natural forest. You are entering in the deep forest of average like size. You will notice that it gets darker, right? And now we imagine that the aspect ratio, which is the ratio between the height and the space between the trees is different. So imagine the height of the tree would be like several tens of kilometers. Obviously, they won't be really dark at the ground. So all of the light simply cannot reach the surface because it will be just lost upon multiple reflections through the walls of the trees. And the same happens in our material. And because blackwood is easier to work with, it has the potential to be used in even more applications than many of the other super black materials. The research also lays a foundation for more innovation within wood optics. We understand knowledge how the uh, wood structure and the chemistry relates to the optical performance of the material. And this gives us insights how we can engineer uh, fiber-based materials using different components for future applications.